हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ दीपिका प्रजापति फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट इन अवर टू डेज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज सो डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर नंबर टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट रिगार्डिंग चैप्टर नंबर टू वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ टॉपिक इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर बट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फ्रॉम द नेटवर्क प्रोटोकॉल्स एंड सर्विसेज एज अ डी एन एस कंपोनेंट सो डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट डी एच सी पी ओरिजिन्स ऑब्जेक्टिव डी एच सी पी कॉन्फिग्रेशन इट्स आर्किटेक्चर एंड इट्स टाइप वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन दिस सॉरी वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर बट नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डोमेन नेम सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्ट सो वट इज डी एन एस डोमेन नेम सिस्टम so here the dns objective is understand the concept of domain name space so first of all we have to study about dns component as uh, we have to understand the concept regarding domain name space as well as we can also say as a domain name system then distribution of various types of name spaces then use of dns in a internet then define root server and its zone and last one of the dns system as dns name registration so here this is our dns objective as we can say also dns uh, stands for a domain name space as well as we can also say about dns as a domain name system so here dns objective is first of all understand the concept of dns uh, it means domain name space then distribution of name spaces use of dns in internet define root server and zone and dns name registration so let's start first dns uh, it means understand the concept about domain name space so first of all here people prefer to use easy to remember name instead of ip address it's known as a domain name space for example ip address defined in a numerical digit uh, we know uh, computer network classify in a various types of class like a class a class b class c class d and class e so these types of class contain as a various types of ip addresses so uh, class a class b class c class d and class e contain a various types of ip address in a numerical digit like 192.168.1.0 uh, something like another example regarding ip address as a 191.167.0.0 so and so so this is a numerical digit of ip address and this type of ip address remember uh, in our mind is very tough so people prefer to use easy to remember name instead of ip addresses so we can say as this types of ip addresses easily uh, remember in our mind so we can use dns as well as domain name space so here the domain name are alphanumeric name for ip addresses so here use as a domain name are alphanumeric it means here the example of the ip addresses as a domain name are www.yahoo.com second one example www.google.com so here the www.yahoo.com and www.google.com is our nothing but dns it means domain name but here this one is in alpha numeric have hu tamne anu gujarati ma concept samjhau ke apne classes a b c d e ava various types of class ni andar ip address derive thayelo apanne jova malto hoy che to ema je apne 192.168.0.0 something like another example regarding ip address from the class a 191.168.001 so and so to ani andar je numerical digit che ene apne yaad rakhvama thodi mushkil pade 
तो एना जगह आप आल्फा आल्फा नु मीनिंग शू थे कैरेक्टर इट मीन्स आल्फाबेटिक नो यूज कर बी जी डी एवं रीतना तो ये रीते अँ जो आप जो है तो अँ डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट याहू डॉट कॉम जो अँ यूज थे एम से यूज थे आल्फा न्यूमेरिक तो आईपी एड्रेस आ रीते डोमेन नेमन यूज कर सकी सो आने आप शू कही डोमेन नेम सीस्टम सो द डोमेन नेम सीस्टम इज एन इंटरनेट वाइड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटा बेज दैट ट्रांसलेट्स बिट्वीन डोमेन नेम्स एंड आईपी एड्रेसिस वंस अगेन कीप इन योर माइंड दिस इज अ वेरी मोस्ट आई एम बी कंसेप्ट फॉर द डी एन एस इज द डोमेन नेम सीस्टम इज एन इंटरनेट वाइड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड डेटा बेज दैट ट्रांसलेट्स बिट्वीन डोमेन नेम्स एंड आईपी एड्रेसिस नेक्स्ट हियर the domain name hierarchy so this one is our hierarchy it means nothing but given a one type of tree of our domain name system so here the first of all tree consider as our head node as well as this is our root node so here on name root then dot com dot edu dot government dot au dot us so this type of dot and then use the domain name it stands for our domain name system so here dot com dot edu edu is nothing but education dot gov government here the country derived and uh, this one is our sub domain of our super domain so this is our root domain and here this is our sub domain so this one is also we can say about domain name tree next unique domain suffix is assigned by internet authority so the domain administrator has complete control over the domain and no limit on number of sub domains or number of levels for example here computer.site.division.company.com and then space computer dot site dot subdivision dot division dot company dot com so here so computer dot site dot division dot company dot com and then here subdivision is nothing but our the sub domain of our super domain so અહીંયા તમે જોઈ શકો છો કે કમ્પ્યુટર ડોટ સાઇટ ડોટ ડિવિઝન ડોટ કંપની ડોટ કોમ એની અંદર આપણે એક નવું ડોમેન લીધું છે સબ ડિવિઝન તો એ આપણું શું થઈ ગયું સબ ડોમેન સો નો લિમિટ ઓન નંબર ઓફ સબ ડોમેન્સ ઓન નંબર ઓફ લેવલ્સ એન્ડ ડોમેન્સ વિથ ઇન એન ઓર્ગેનાઇઝેશન ડુ નોટ હેવ ટુ બી યુનિફોર્મ ઇન નંબર ઓફ સબ ડોમેન્સ ઓર લેવલ્સ DNS name is like a postal address in which top level domain is state second level domain is a city and the host name is street address so here one is our some example easy to understand so DNS name is like a postal address in which top level domain is a state and second level domain is our city name and the host name is like our street address so this concept is easily understand for our mind so here one is the top level domain tld stands for top level domain so in any dns system it means any dns name the rightmost word represents domain at the highest level in dns tree and then it's known as uh, otherwise it's called top level domain second top level domain function as registers for the domains at second level so for here example mycorp.com uses top level domain com here dot com is our domain and registered the name is mycorp here the content about the seven top level dedicated domain as dot com it means commercial organization edu it means educational institutions dot government gov it means government institution and then dot int international organization dot mil it means us military instruction otherwise institution dot net it means networking organization 
here the dot net is our domain not our subject name dot net programming but here the dot net is networking organization here one is a domain not a subject okay dot org it means non profit organization so this is our seven top level dedicated domains once again com it means dot com means commercial organization dot edu it means educational institutions dot gov it means government institution dot int it means international organization then dot mil it means use military institutions dot net it means networking organizations and then dot org it means non profit organization okay next here one is a country code domain so this is a very most i am p concept for the gtu exam and this concept is again and again asked in gtu exam having either 3 marks or 4 marks so country code domain as here there are 191 country code domain named for specific country in their own languages for example here for india it means here in so in code is our indian code for our country so 80 out of 191 allows free registration of top level domain and remaining 111 countries and organizations must conform to some tax for guideline sorry or guideline in order to register a second level domain keep in your mind dear all student 80 country given a free registration of top level domain and remaining 111 country organization must conform to some tax or guideline in order to register second level domain each of this country code domain is managed by organization in that country and which has its own domain name registration policy once again country code domain is nothing but given a one type of domain specific country in their on languages so there are a 191 country code domains name for the specific countries in their own languages and here the for example our india country it's a a separate domain as a in so india country domain in and 80 country allow free registration of top level domain and remaining 111 country must be register in order for the guideline to second level domain and each of this country code domain is managed by organization in that country and which has its own domain name registration policies next second level domain as ld so second level domain it means nothing but it is directly below top level domain so first of all given as a domain so first uh, top side domain it's known as a top level and second level is directly below a top level domain so example here in example.com so example is nothing but our second level domain of the .com tld it means top level domain from the example.com so here the example is our second level domain and .com is our domain extension it refer to the organization that registered the domain name with a domain name register some domain name registrars introduce a second level hierarchy to tld that indicate the type of entity intended to register as sld under it so some domain names registrars introduce a second level hierarchy to top level domain that indicates the type of entity intended to register an second level domain under it so this concept is a very most amp concept for second level domain and dear all student in our g2 exam the domain name system concept derived top level and second level is a very most amp concept for our university exam and uh, many uh, many times this type of question asked in g2 exam having three marks either four marks so this concept uh, learn b very 
concept easily so dear all student i hope this type of concept you all easily understand if anyone have a doubt then please comment on google classroom so next concept ave apne agar na concept par jaiye subdomain so large organizations need subdomain to subdivide their networks according to their networks according to geographical or organizational boundary so here the second concept of subdomain is subdomains are used to maintain large domain the dns server of top level contains addresses of second level domains same way second level domain contains address of third level domains to make this possible dns server break up domain namespace in different types of zones so domain with only two level consist of single zone so here the three level domain can be divided into multiple zones and a zones can be continuous branch of a dns tree that can include domains on multiple level so this concept is regarding our subdomain concept uh, it is used for a many large types of organization need subdomains to subdivide their networks according to their networks then this type of network is used so the dns server of the top level contains address of second level domains and same way second level domain contains address of third level domain then this types of hierarchy create it's known as a subdomain here one is our nothing but the url contain using our domain name system so http is our protocol here the blog is our subdomain brand.com is our domain practice area is our sub directory and publish blog spot is our page content okay next dns functions Uh, it means domain name system resources recording is our first dns function so dns resource record define data types in the dns and resource records are stored in a binary format internally for use by dns software so resource record are sent across a network in text format while they perform zone transfer so whenever a resolver give the domain name to dns it gets the resource record associated with it so here one is a five field each of this resource record of dns so first of all given as a domain name class type time to live and here one is a value so this is our first function of dns second dns name resolution so user program issues a request for the ip addresses of a host name so a local reservoir formulates a dns query to the name server of host and then name server checks if it is authorized to answer the query if yes then it's respond otherwise it will query other name server starting at root tree and when the name server has the answer it send it to the resolver So what is resolver working so an application program on a host access the domain name system through a dns client that's called as the resolver and resolver contacts dns server called name server and dns server returns ip addresses to resolver which passes the ip addresses to application dns request so there are two types of queries recursive queries and iteratives it means non recursive queries so the types of query is determined by a bit in dns query so first of all recursive query query so when the name server of host cannot resolve a query the server issue a query to resolve the query and it iterative query it means non recursive queries when the name server of host can't resolve a query it send the refresh sorry referral to another server to the resolver root name server it means know how to find the root name server from the dns so the root name server authoritative name server for all top level zone and there are only 13 
root name reservoirs and root servers are critical for the proper functioning of the name resolution here one is a name registration concept so if you have a website and to register our own domain name then this is done through register and a register first verify that the requested domain name is unique and enter into dns database and then to register the organization need to give the name of its server and give the ip address of server to the register okay so dear all student i hope you all easily understand about dns all types of concept and if anyone have a doubt from this video lecture series then please comment on google classroom okay thank you hello students myself deepika prajapati from computer department and today we are going to discuss about network printing concept so welcome to all of you dear all student in our today's video lecture series and dear all student we have already seen about various types of topic regarding network protocols and services so in a previous video lecture we have already seen about a domain name system as well as a domain name space and now in this lecture we are going to discuss about network printing concept so let's start our uh, new concept for the chapter number 2 network protocols and services so first network printing concept so how to add our printer to a device so uh, we have to learn uh, first of all the network printing concept for the add printer so first network printing concept as a local printer shared printer and network printer so there are mainly three types of printer uh, for add printer for the printing concept so first of all as a local printer second as a shared printer and third one as a network printer so these all three types of printer are the three basic printing configuration so a software is required to control the printing process and the printer determines where and when the output should be sent so here the following steps about add printer to our devices so here let's start setting up a local print device so how to install local print device use an add print wizard so first of all you have to search Uh, in a command uh, sorry you have to search in our command prompt as well as we can also say as a searching uh, in a setting so here uh, printers and other hardware so tamare first of all search ma jaine settings par click karvanu chhe ane jare pan tame settings par click karso otherwise setting ma na jau hoy to You have to also select control panel. So, you have to control panel. Ne pan select kari sako chhu. So, first of all, you have to select as a control panel. And whenever you click on a control panel, then uh, in a desktop you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type of pop up box. So, you have to see this type Whenever you select on add printer button, then you have to see this type of pop up box on your window screen. So, तमे तमारे window screen पर आप रकानू एक pop up box show था सर, जहाँ पर तमे add printer पर click कर सो. So here see this types of add printer wizard. So तमारे यहीं क्लिक करवानू रहे सर local printer attached to this computer. आ क्या है जयरे तेरे लोकल प्रिंटर ने जयरे सैटिंग अंदर इंस्टॉल करवा तेरे सो हियर लोकल प्रिंटर अटैच टू दीस कॉम्प्यूटर सो क्लिक ऑन दीस टाइप ऑफ चेकअप बॉक्स ऑटोमेटिकली डिटेक्ट एंड इंस्टॉल माय प्लग एंड प्ले प्रिंटर देन यू हैव टू क्लिक नेक्स्ट बटन 
सो वैन प्रोमटेड सिलेक्ट लोकल प्रिंटर एंड धैन प्रेस नेक्स्ट बटन ओके नेक्स्ट एड प्रिंटर विजार्ड सो वैन एवर यू क्लिक ऑन अ नेक्स्ट बटन धैन सेकेंड स्टेप्स हियर सिलेक्ट प्रिंटर पॉट सो यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट प्रिंटर पॉट एंड हियर माय पॉट इज एल पी टी वन रिकमेंडेड प्रिंटर पॉट सो क्लिक ऑन दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉट यूज द फॉलोइंग पॉट एल पी टी वन रिकमेंडेड प्रिंटर पॉट सो आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉट प्रेस नेक्स्ट बटन सो जयरेपन तब आ रीत पॉट सिलेक्ट कर दो पी नेक्स्ट बटन पर क्लिक करो नेक्स्ट नाउ सिलेक्ट प्रिंटर मैन्युफेक्चर इन अ लैफ्ट पेन हमें तेरे लैफ्ट पेन में थी मैन्युफेक्चर सिलेक्ट करवा है एंड धैन ऑल प्रिंटर्स अवेलेबल ऑफ दैट मैन्युफेक्चर विल डिस्प्ले इन अ राइट पेन और एना पी तमने अँ राइट साइड पेन में तमने मैन्युफेक्चर डिस्प्ले थे दरेक प्रिंटरना सो सिलेक्ट प्रिंटर मैन्युफेक्चर इन अ लैफ्ट पेन एंड ऑल प्रिंटर्स अवेलेबल ऑफ दैट मैन्युफेक्चर विल डिस्प्ले इन अ राइट पेन सिलेक्ट ए प्रोपराइट प्रिंटर एंड प्रेस नेक्स्ट पची तेरे कोई एक प्रिंटर ने सिलेक्ट करवा है नेक्स्ट बटन पर क्लिक करवा रहें सो सिलेक्ट ए प्रोपराइट प्रिंटर एंड प्रेस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एड प्रिंटर विजार्ड सो गीव अ शेर नेम इफ यू वोट टू शेर दिस प्रिंटर अदरवाइज सिलेक्ट डू नॉट शेर दिस प्रिंटर एंड प्रेस नेक्स्ट बटन इफ यू वोट टू शेर दिस प्रिंटर then you have to kill, click share printer if do not share this printer then you have to click do not share this printer and then press next button so here our printer name then do you want to use this printer as a default printer if uh, you have to use this type of printer as a default then you have to select yes if you are not ready for this printer as a default printer then you have to select no so and then select as a next button then add printer wizard so here one is a print test page do you want to print a test page if you want to test a page after the connecting printer then you have to click click on this button yes if you are not ready for test page then you have to click no button so here if you want to test a print page then select yes otherwise select no and then press next button okay so here whenever your printer is connected to your devices then here show this type of screen and printer and faxes are available in this type of screen so tumne aa rite screen ma tamaru printer jo add thai gayo hase to ahiya tamne je rite dekhay chhe e rite tame joi sakso so here now you can see devices and printers window so now you can see devices and printers window on this type of screen next now to share print device so have tamare print device ne share karvu chhe to tamare aa prakar na steps ne follow karva padse so click the start menu then select devices and printer you can also select devices and printer from your control panel once again you can also select devices and printer from your control panel so first of all click the start menu then select devices and printers then right click the printers you want to share and then click printer properties then click the sharing tab and check the box next to share this printer now let's start this types of all steps for the share print device with our performance so this is our network print devices so here one is our desktop pc and here one is our configuration all pc and here one is our server with printer so next to use sad printer follow the steps so click the start menu then select devices and printer and then select add printer so whenever you have to select devices and printer then you have to click compulsory add printer button next 
here select add printer using tcp ip address or a host name so here find printer by name or tcp ip ip address then you have to click uh, click on this radio button add a printer using tcp ip address or host name and then press on next button type of printer host name or ip address is so here device type is uh, auto detected then host name or ip address is here and here one is our port name so this is a by default this is a specify ip address for the printer host and whenever you select your device type and query the printer and automatically select the driver to use okay and then click on the next button next here one the process is start searching printer in network if uh, you have to given this type of host name or ip address in your network then search this type of printer given here based on your ip address so here one is our device type the given name ip address of the device the host name or ip address and given the port name and now contacting printer using network so here the searching printer in network then next yes now detecting this tcp ip port so detecting the tcp ip port and windows will automatically move to the next page when the detection is done and next based on the ip address you provided it will search printer okay next here one is the additional port information required so the device is not found on the network be sure that the device is turned on the network is connected the device is properly configured and the address on previous page is correct if you think the address is not correct then click back to return to the previous page and then correct the address and perform other search on network if you are sure the address is correct then select the device type this below so here the i choose this type of standard device type as a generic network card so we'll choose the device type and then click on next button then next select a driver for the printer appropriate to the printer side in network so here one is a manufacturer in our left pane and the given all devices of printer as a manufacturer as in a right pane so install the printer device you have to select driver for a printer appropriate to the printer side in a network and then click on next button here give the name of printer name so here i have to give this type of printer name as hp910 so this printer will be installed with hp910 driver and then click on next button okay here now my printer is successfully added to my device so you have to successfully added hp910 and i want to set as a default printer hp910 then we have to click this type of checkbox box so here set as the default printer to check if your printer is working properly or to see troubleshooting information for the printer print test page if you want to test a print page then you have to click this type of button print a test page if you are not ready for the printing test page then you have to click cancel button okay but here to check if you print your printer is working properly or not then see troubleshooting information for a printer the print test page okay so select print a test page and then finish here dear all student uh, this uh, all questions are a very most mp question for g2 exam of our chapter number two network protocols and services so dear all student this all question is a very most mp question for our university exam having a three marks four marks two marks so first of all explain address resolution protocol i have already seen and you all have already seen in our previous video lecture series about address resolution protocol next reverse address resolution protocol it means rarp protocol here one is address resolution protocol it means arp protocol and rarp it means rarp protocol then explain 
बी डबल ओ टी पी प्रोटोकॉल बूट स्ट्रैप प्रोटोकॉल देन नेक्स्ट डी एच सी पी आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज अ वेरी मोस्ट एम पी डी एच सी पी स्टैंड फॉर डायनामिक होस्ट कॉन्फिग्रेशन प्रोटोकॉल देन नेक्स्ट डी एच सी पी पैकेट फॉर्मेट देन नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन डोमेन नेम सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्टिव इज अ वेरी मोस्ट एम पी कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डेर आर स्टूडेंट डोमेन नेम सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्टिव कॉन्सेप्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज नाउ एक्सप्लेन फंक्शन ऑफ डी एन एस सर्वर देन लिस्ट एंड एक्सप्लेन टॉप लेवल डोमेन देन एक्सप्लेन कंट्री लेवल डोमेन देन एक्सप्लेन नेम रिजॉल्वर देन नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन टाइप्स ऑफ आई पी एड्रेस असाइनमेंट देन नेक्स्ट राइट स्टेप्स टू इंस्टॉल नेटवर्क प्रिंटर नेक्स्ट हियर द मोस्ट एम पी क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑल्सो जी टी एग्जाम हियर द लिस्ट एनी फोर डोमेन नेम देन नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन डोमेन नेम सिस्टम ऑब्जेक्टिव नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन डोमेन नेम रिजॉल्विंग नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लेन स्टेप्स टू सेटअप प्रिंटर नेटवर्क then next write the advantages and disadvantages of dhcp then next explain various ip addresses scheme in a dhcp next explain dns registration process then explain dns with their hierarchy then explain dhcp relay agent and then next explain ip address assignment so this all question is very most amp question of the chapter number 2 network protocol and services so here your chapter number 2 is finished and i hope dear all student you uh, you all easily understand about this all topics from the chapter number 2 network protocols and services if anyone have a doubt then please comment on google classroom okay thank you